Like Jesus. So I think I interrupted. It's from Jesus, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Well, honestly, thank God that whole Messiah thing worked out for him because he was a shitty carpenter. Is that true? Yeah, that's what I've heard. He tried build. He built me a shed once. It just turned out like shit. Oh man, fell over instantly. And I don't. I don't get the whole like people keep saying the second coming. You know, I'm thinking like that. That's either like a really bad, uh, like excuse of like a like the Me Too movement. Yeah. Or or like he wasn't like nailed to a boomerang. So how's it a second coming? You know, magic. There's lots of magic involved. Yeah. Um, and it's my understanding that your son was recently converted. He's on the path of righteousness now. Don't. We're, we're not. We weren't going to talk about that. Oh. Okay. No, well, we, we are now, though. That's right. No. No. Uh, Ga- Gavin thinks it's a really cool thing. His uh, he gets he gets driven to school by a really religious lady, and uh, we wanted to thank her. I, I I don't even remember what Kelly got her. I think maybe. Maybe like a donut shaped as a cross. I don't know. Aww. What, that, what is that? Just like two long johns put together? Yeah. Oh. And the inside is, you know, when you poke it with, a, with, with a spear. That's right. Yeah. It's in, red oh. coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the body and blood. Yeah. No. But it sounds, sounds like a more streamlined communion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I don't know. He, he, came, he came home with a medallion, and I'm like, no, no, there's no way. <laughs> Not in this house. <laughs> Not in this house. No way. We are a house of learned atheists. L- luckily, he lost it. So, I was I was very glad. I mean, I told him, I'm like, dude, like Lord of the Rings is such a better fairy tale, <laughs> you know. So, <coughs> like, dude. And uh, yeah, I guess. Would you say him losing his medallion would be a miracle? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I was then, thinking about that. Yeah. That's Com- pretty profound. Com- yeah. I mean, I mean, it's you know, you, you got to compare it to some other miracles, like losing that medallion. What 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 good does it do? Well, it it. Like prevents the whole family going mad. That's and then true. It's much better than just like, hey, dudes, like, yo, I can walk on water, man. Wait, I can, uh, I can walk on water. All right, all right, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, right, what, what was the point of that? Like, was is there a storyline to that? Uh, he's a miracle worker. Yeah, but what what miracle is walking on water? Do? I, I thought it was just like, oh, I can moonwalk on water too. That yeah, I think that was more or less it. His friends are out fishing. He just walked over to them, and they're like, holy shit, people can't walk on water. Yeah, right. This guy's magic. I mean, why can't you like break dance on clouds? Why can't you do something cool like that? I I don't think the world was ready for it at the time. Or is that like the I think that's what the second coming is cut of the uh, of Jesus Christ of yeah, of yeah. like the Bible or something, the unedited version. Yeah, maybe the unabridged edition of the Bible. Uh, we should get the Pope on the show. Yeah, do you the have pope? connections for the Pope? Yeah. Ask like, Gavin. Like the Pope, our dealer? Or no, no, never yeah. mind. I'm actually going to the Vatican like next week. So, Are you? Yeah. Are you? Really? No, I'm not. Oh. No. Yeah. Funny yeah. story. My uh, my geography teacher was telling me that uh, he uh, he actually went to the Vatican, and it's such a small country. He can you can literally run from side to side, and for you to be be to be in and out of it. And uh, one of the guards there actually threatened to throw a spear at him if he if he tried running across the Vatican. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty pretty strict about shit. Like, um, I think I was talking about at that July Fourth party about I think I was saying like how like in Europe like places of like uh, royalty or like museums they're like a lot more there's a lot more like idea of respect so there's yeah. no fucking around in there at all. Mm-hmm. So like, I'll okay. I'll be honest. I did something fucked up, and uh, I did two things fucked up actually on my vacation. No, um, when I went because I thought it. I don't know. I'm like. My great aunt was in the Holocaust, and we went to a concentration camp. I think I mentioned it on an episode before. Mm-hmm. And they had a pile of all the shoes burnt from the ovens. And there was, like, uh, like ashes and glass. And I'm like, I don't know. My great aunt was part of this, so I just, like, took a little bit of ash and yeah. put it in my backpack. And I think it's still there. Hmm. I don't even – I should have put it in a plastic bag and maybe – Probably, yeah. Uh, That's yeah. a weird souvenir. Now, yeah, would that right? be disrespectful to vacuum that up? Yeah, I, d- I don't know. I mean, you gotta clean it up somehow, though. And you can't smoke it with the glass in there. Exactly. You know? So, I don't know. It's and then the other thing I did was I went to okay, so I uh, it's a long story, but there's this awesome cartoon that I loved growing up. It made me want to name my band. It's named uh, Pon Klux, which just translates to Mister Inkblot, <laughs> and it's like pretty much like a psychedelic Willy Wonka. Yeah. And there was a castle where. The all the outdoor scenes in the all his movies. There's like four movies. All the outdoor scenes were filmed at that place, and it's actually a royal king's castle. It's kind of like, 
It, it like it was only one filming spot. You know how how like the sh- the Overlook Hotel in The Shining yeah. is just one spot in Colorado, but the rest of the movie was filmed in New York. So I'm like, oh well, we're in this town. Let's just go to this castle. So we go there, and I wanted to uh, take an awesome picture there. They had a sh- they had a tree there that it was the first tree planted in Poland, and it's like as wide as this fucking house. It's fucking huge. It wow. has a plaque on it. So I'm like, and in the background you can see the castle. So. I'm always the guy that fucks around on vacation, gets in trouble. So I'm like, yo, I told my brother, I'm like, can you take a picture with me? Or or can you take a picture of me hanging upside down from a branch? And he said, no, I want to be in the picture. So my mom's taking a picture and she, she got a new phone that she doesn't know how to work. So instead of hitting focus, she just hit picture. Yeah. And it was perfect timing because I hang upside down like a bat and the branch broke. (laughs) So I'm like mid air about to hit my head on the concrete. And, there was after that. There was an old lady running after me, saying like, "You're breaking royal ground. Get off it. That is the king's tree." And like she, she got like the fucking like. The, I I don't know what it would be, um, comparable to here, like what it, don't they have like CIA agents on like White House grounds or what is it like FBI uh, Secret Service Secret Ser- Yeah, it was like Polish Secret Service on the grounds that huh. were like gonna go after us. So we hid in a fish house real quick. So That's- yeah pretty fucking interesting <laughs> yeah. uh, i didn't think someone would be i didn't think you'd have secret service uh, on you after over a tree but that's uh that's interesting yeah right yeah uh, did you say it was the king's tree it was like yeah it was on it was on the same land that the castle is on is it so it was like royalty does poland still have a king no okay but it's considered but it's still like you know um i don't know it'd be like breaking off the arm of like some I don't know Lincoln's fucking chair in a cabin or something, you know. So, so other countries need to learn to have like higher security, right? And it's because people are breaking their trees and stealing their right? ashes. Um, yeah. Just being a, a goodwill ambassador to our friends abroad. Um, yeah. Very cool. <laughs>